Google provides all of our users with unlimited storage space in Google Drive, which is awesome. But I want to talk about a way to make it easier to access those files. And the best and easiest way to do that is through Google Drive File Stream. That's what we're going to talk about today. things that I want to talk about related to Google Drive file stream. But before we can get there, we need to make sure that it's installed and running. So first I want to show you how to see if Drive file stream is installed on your computer. And if not, how to install it. So I'm going to start out at the start button here in Windows. I'm going to type Drive. Right at the top of my list, Drive file stream, I have it installed. If you don't have Drive file stream installed, you need to come over to your Google account, click on the nine dots up in the upper right hand corner and click on Drive. That'll load Google Drive for you. And we want to click on the gear icon in Drive, the settings, and that has an option for Get Drive File Stream for Windows. So you click on that button, it downloads the installer application just like any other Windows application install. Um, you run it, you click OK a couple times, and you have Drive File Stream installed. So there's the basics, right? We have File Stream installed. There's one other piece that I want you to be aware of, though, and that's to make sure that it's running. So I have Drive File Stream installed on this computer. I want to make sure that it's actually running on this computer. And if I open my File Explorer here, that's the, the folder icon down in the system tray. Uh, when I open that up, I should see Google Drive File Stream as an option over here on the left-hand side, but I don't in this case. So that means File Stream is installed, but it's not running. And this seems to happen around uh, a password change, or if you haven't used your computer in a number of months, uh, like a, a summer break, something like that, um, then it seems to go away. So easy fix though, we just need to run file stream again. So to get Drive running, I'm going to go down to the Start menu and I'm going to type Drive. And I'm going to click on Drive File Stream in my list this time to get it started. And I'm going to be presented with a login screen just like I would if I was logging into my Google account. So I'm going to type in my username and my password. Uh, and I will also be asked for my two-factor authentication because I've got uh, two-factor set up for security on here. So I'm going to type in my two-factor number and that's going to log me into Google Drive file stream. And now you'll see it's loading and in just a minute I'm going to get a pop-up and I'm going to close that pop-up and on the left hand side now in my file explorer and it actually is going to show me real quick here. I'm going to close that window. But over on the left-hand side, I now have my Google Drive file stream link. It'll show up in my quick access bar, but also on this PC, it'll show up as a drive letter. In this case, it's the V drive. Um, and this is everything in my Google Drive file stream. So we've gotten past the install hurdle. We have made sure that it's running. And now I have full access to my Google Drive file stream locally on my Windows computer. What can I do with it? Well, for one thing, you don't have to go to the web to access your files. And there's a, uh, you know, a really key reason why that's important. If I come in here to my drive, and this will show me the files that I have in my personal Google Drive, um, I can see all my folders, everything that I've named it, organized it, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I want to key out something really important here. So my Excel file here that I've got right here called Demo, that is being shown to me on my Windows computer. When I see a, an Excel file in Google Drive on the web, it is going to try to open it as a Google Sheet because it doesn't know how to open a file on the web in Excel. It just doesn't work that way. So a lot of times you're stuck copying a file down, taking it back up, all that kind of stuff. With File Stream, because it's presented locally, uh, I can just double click on this Excel file. It knows what application it needs to open that in. So it's going to open my Excel file in Excel. So here we, here's my demo file. Um, I am good to go. I can make all the changes that I want to. When I close it, if I made a change here, uh, I can just hit close. It's going to ask me, hey, do I want to save my changes? I say yes. That's it. It's already saved my file back out to Google Drive. Anything that I see here is automatically synced up to my Google Drive in the web. So if I was to go out to Google Drive on the web, I would see all my same files, all my same edits, all that information is there. So that's really the power of Drive File Stream is to be able to use locally all my files that I'm used to accessing in the format that I'm used to getting them in. Uh, the one other thing that I do want to point out is files that aren't used frequently are not cached locally on my machine. So if I've got, you know, just tons and tons of files and folders and, and all that kind of stuff, it can take up a lot of space. And Google Drive is unlimited storage space for me as a user in the district. 
Um, with file stream, it doesn't locally store everything. So I can have tons of files. I, I can be using all that space, but it doesn't use the space on my local hard drive. And it makes sure that everything that I have is always synced current with Google Drive. So it's automatically backed up for me. It's always in the cloud. I can access it from any other machine that I need to. And it's not going to eat up all the hard drive space that I have on my computer. If something were to happen to my, I'm using a laptop here. If something happened to this, it was destroyed, run over by a bus, whatever. I still have all my files up in Google Drive so that when I get my new computer, I just install my Drive file stream again. I already have all my files. I don't have to worry about where they're at, trying to back them up all the time. That is no longer a concern for me. So that is the basics of using Google Drive file stream. One other thing that I want to point out right quick is when I go back to my root, I see my drives here. I also have access to my team drive. So if I go into team drives, I can see anything that's been shared with me and have access to all of those same folders and files as well. So all encompassing, that's Google Drive file stream, how to use it, how to get into it. Thank you.